Hi, my name is Ruth Donnelly from Coachwood Nursery, Summersby, New South Wales, Australia. I teach succulent workshops. I run a wholesale nursery and a retail nursery with my husband, Peter. We also do a dried flower emporium, a huge range of Australian, um, interesting Australian native and Australian grown plants that we have for sale for the public and for florists. We also do organic garden tours and organic farm tours, which is an interest my husband Peter has. Today I really would love to share with you a little bit about propagation, in particular propagating succulents. How to multiply your succulents in a very quick, easy way is so fun. It's really one of the most rewarding things to do that you can ever uh, do as a hobby or as, as even build up to something like a commercial operation like ours. This interesting succulent here is quite ornamental and it, um, it's just in the middle of flowering at the moment. So I chose it for that reason because what I want to show you is um, to collect a cutting, you just get a decent pair of secateurs that are fairly sharp and you have to take off the bottom few leaves but most important, you need to cut the flower off. So that if you don't cut the flower off, it tends to draw too much energy from the plant and it slows the propagation down as far as setting the roots and having a beautiful healthy plant quicker. So best to take the, the flower off, take the bottom leaves off. You don't have to take too many off because most succulents uh, can, can stay weeks even just on their own, just uh, dry like that. So this is a, a cutting that's now prepared and ready to put in a little bit of potting mix and you can make your own mix up but we just use a general premium potting mix here. We make our own but you can just buy what is called a premium potting mix from the hardware store and uh, just use that. You don't need to buy a special potting mix. You don't need to buy a cactus and succulent mix. That's quite important. You can if you want but it can be a little bit too dry for most succulents especially for propagating. You need to keep them a little bit moister so we pre prefer to have the premium mix that just keeps them a little bit moist while they're setting roots. That's quite important. The next uh, way that you can do some propagation of your succulents is through leaf. A lot of echeverias, this is a, an echeveria which is quite pretty, it's got a, a grey uh, pink leaf. If it snaps cleanly off the stem, that's most important. If it's a clean, clear snap and it separates easily from the main stem and it doesn't tear, it will be great to grow as um, a new succulent from a leaf. And you can either lay them flat on a tray of a uh, little bit of potty mix or even you can use um, some paper toweling in a flat tray and lay your leaves on that just uh, at a little bit of an angle resting on the edge of your tray so that they're about that angle, about 25 degrees and the roots and the shoots come from this point here. So they're, they're a lot of fun. Not everything can be done by leaf. This particular echeveria, it's a gorgeous colour. The, the, the foliage is burgundy and it's absolutely beautiful. It's very, very hard to grow by a, a leaf. It, it, it's one of the ones that tears. So just experiment with your collection. Have a look at the stem. Have a fiddle around with it and, and uh, just uh, see how you go with finding which ones you can grow from leaf. The next way to propagate is to take a, a, a stem cutting from um, an aloe, for instance. I cut these yesterday and they've, they've calloused or hardened a little bit and dried out. So they're now ready to put into premium mix. And the main thing to remember is to put your newly propagated plants in the shade to begin with. They need to be in the shade until they've set roots. If they're put straight in the sun, there's no way the plant can take up moisture easily because there's no roots. So having your cuttings and your new plants that you want, having them positioned in the shade until they've got those lovely gorgeous roots and you'll feel that they're ready to, you know that they've got roots when they're a little bit hard to pull up. So leave them for about a month before you start trying to pull them up and 
they're very easy to strike and the main thing is is I would recommend you do the propagation in late spring, summer and early autumn because it's the temperature which helps to pull the roots out on the particular plants as well. Then you can take a, a stem cutting from something like this as well. So it's similar to this crassula. This one here, you're just cutting the main rosette off. Often you'll find roots on it already. Succulents produce aerial roots which are, they're so easy to strike that they're so much fun because that's ready to go. You just put it in your potting mix and it'll set new roots around those existing aerial roots. It will position itself in the potting mix and you've got yourself a new plant within about four weeks. So that's a really fun thing to look out for, existing aerial roots. Then another form of propagation which is, um, it's actually quite important to know how to, to actually divide your succulents, how you can multiply something like this which has got a lot of new pups or babies around the uh, base of the plant. It's not something that you can do easily from a leaf. You really are better off separating it. You've got a bare rooted and I'll do a special, um, just a, a, a special story with just how to divide succulents because there's quite a few of them that need to be propagated this way. So we'll look forward to doing that with you another time.